Hi, my name is Major Adam Davidson. I'm the Group Commander of Northeast Georgia of the Civil Air Patrol. Uh, currently we're here at Gwinnett County Composite Squadron. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Please share with our audience what is Civil Air Patrol. Uh, Civil Air Patrol is a civilian auxiliary of the United States Air Force. Uh, we were chartered back in December 1st, 1941 as part of civil defense leading into World War II. Uh, soon after World War II, President Truman signed an executive order uh, making Civil Air Patrol a congressionally chartered nonprofit organization with oversight by the United States, the newly formed United States Air Force at that time. Uh, our primary missions are emergency services, cadet programs, and aerospace education. Uh, on our senior member side, the focus is on mainly the emergency services, and uh, we do airborne overland search and rescue, uh, disaster recovery. Uh, we do a lot of missions with the Federal Emergency Management Agency, uh, Hurricane Harvey, Maria, Ian, uh, the past hurricanes. We've done a lot of work with those with FEMA. On our cadet program side, we have squadrons throughout the nation uh, with over 60,000 members in CAP, 25,000 of those being cadets. Um, our focus with the, cadet, with the cadet program is character development, leadership, and just molding everyone into the love of aerospace and aviation. You currently have a squadron in Gwinnett and it is named as the Gwinnett County Composite Squadron. Yes. How many cadet members do you currently have in that squadron? Right now we are about 80 cadets currently at Gwinnett and I think we're 68 senior members. So we're over 140 members here at Gwinnett. With this Gwinnett here is the second largest squadron in the state. Great. Who is eligible to join and what are the qualification, Major? Um, adults can join for 18 years old um, until whenever. We have no age end period if you have a willingness to serve. Um, we'd love to have you. Uh, the cadet program, uh, 12 years old to 18. And as long as you join as a cadet before your 18th birthday, you can stay a cadet until you're 21 years of age. Oh, interesting. Well, share with our audience um, what Civil Air Patrol offers in terms of ROTC program, especially high school graduating seniors. Okay, CAP and ROTC, we share a lot of common um, aspects, of course, the character development and leadership. Uh, generally, the ROTC programs are in school. It's actually part of the curriculum. Uh, CAP, we're after school. Uh, we generally meet one night a week for a few hours, and we go through different progression of our meetings, like one meeting will be in leadership, one will be on character development, uh, spend a lot of time on aerospace education, and, um, and of course, drill and ceremony. Hmm. Interesting. Does uh, Civil Air Patrol award college scholarship in its program? We do have many scholarships throughout the program. Um, you can find a lot of that information at GoCivilAirPatrol.com under Cadet Programs and Scholarships. And it goes over a lot of the requirements uh, for these different scholarships. Uh, what are the new programs that will be offered in the upcoming years? for the Civil Air Patrol? Oh, hey, for cadets, we have a ton of stuff. Uh, currently, we have something called the WINGS program. It allows a cadet that has an interest in becoming a pilot, an avenue where CAP will, uh, has a scholarship for that and actually pays for your ground school, testing, flight time, uh, Civil Air Patrol flight instructor, and uh, to get your FAA certification. That's great. And it's one of the most highly um, in-demand programs we have right now uh, considering I'm not sure how many people they have apply for it but generally there's about 50 slots available each year so it's very high demand uh, but we also have other avenues that are non-scholarship including flight academies throughout the country where a cadet can go for what we call national cadet special activity and actually be immersed in flying uh, with uh, CAP CFIs, uh, Certified Flight Instructors and um, you know, get the basics right there and get their, you know, their student pilot license. That's great. I understand that uh, the Civil Air Patrol is also coming out with innovative programs such as cyber securities yes. and drones uh, technologies. Yes, yes. Um, 
Silver Patrol, we participate in the Cyber Patriot program, and uh, the squadron here has done quite well, generally winning the state round every year. Um, basically, it goes over a few months. Uh, they come in, we have instructors here at the squadron that goes over the basics of cyber defense, and basically it's teaching our cadets, you know, that new job avenue, because it's still relatively new. Uh, it's never going to go away. It's a great industry to get into, and for those cadets that are interested in it. Uh, this unit has multiple teams because of the size of the unit, uh, middle school and high school teams. And then with the UASs, the drones, uh, we work with those with um, our disaster relief missions and emergency services missions. And uh, we call that the part, uh, FAA Part 107, where uh, cadets uh, can actually qualify to be a certified FAA drone pilot. That's great. Ultimately, Major, what qualities do Civil Air Patrol hope to impart with all these cadets? Oh, for one, um, love of aviation, um, togetherness. Um, we have cadets, especially in Gwinnett County and any of the squadrons here in Georgia or the nation, they bring in cadets that all have a love of interest in aviation or aerospace. Um, they're from different walks of lives, um, different school systems, and these cadets and senior members get to meet people they probably wouldn't get to meet in the normal walk of life. And it's really neat to watch them grow, um, you know, ranking up from cadet airman to cadet colonel, and um, just, you know, the, seeing how they come in as having no clue what's going on, to being a real leader, uh, working with the other cadets, mentoring the cadets, teaching the cadets, uh, same with our senior members as well. It's that is the best thing is to see the reactions on their faces as they progress and they learn. Well, thank you for taking the time to speak with us, Major, and uh, good luck with the cadet programs. Thank you. Thank you.